It's our first time home. <laughs> Hello, you guys. Today is Monday, um, the 22nd of January. <laughs> Today is the 22nd of January. It is Monday. I have started working on stuff, um, but I still have sleepy face. But I wanted to show you guys a little update on my skin. Um... It's looking a lot better since the last time I vlogged. Like, all this is basically smooth. It's just, like, hyperpigmentation stuff from past acne. There's a little bit of acne that's going down right here and stuff. But, oh my god, it's so much better. It's supposed to be, like, 60 degrees today. So, I need to get outside at least a little bit. So, I might do, like, I don't know, some shopping or go walk around somewhere. Um, Caleb actually left for Pittsburgh to, oh no, we're in Pittsburgh. Caleb left for Florida today um, for work. He's gonna be there all week, so I'm gonna be all over the apartment. No, I'll be totally fine. Um, it will be weird though um, with going to school together and stuff and we both live in the same um, hometown. We haven't honestly been apart from each other for like a whole week in a while. Wow, the sun is shining. I don't know if a lot of you know this, but we did long distance for the first year of our relationship. done filming a video about how I style my hair and tips and tricks for styling your hair when you've gone like four days without washing it because I don't go or I go a long time without washing my hair so that video should be up on the on my channel by the time you are watching this vlog so go check that out it is 12 45 and I have not eaten anything today Caleb and I made these, well, not Caleb and I, I made these burrito bowls yesterday and we had like leftovers because we were too, like basically we put too much in our bowls. So I have it saved um, right here and I am so excited to eat it. Oh, I also made this corn salsa. Oh my God, if you guys love Qdoba corn salsa, you're gonna love this. Look how yummy that looks. Oh my gosh, yum! It is so stinking warm today in Pennsylvania. It is 65 degrees. Like what? This is nuts. It is January 21st or some, no, January 22nd maybe? I don't know, but it is so warm today. I cannot believe it. And I'm outside doing a little bit of shopping because I just had to get in the warm air. That's amazing. <laughs> Okay, so this is not easy for me to do, but I am committed to staying real with you guys and staying real online so that it's not, so that we don't set these expectations for what we should be because of what we see online. Anyway, that's kind of a long spiel, but this is what it looks like when you pick your face because you have clogged pores all the time. Obviously, my skin is getting better from having the next one on taken out like a week ago. No, a week and a half ago. Almost two weeks ago. Two weeks on Wednesday, and it's Monday right now. But I still have some clogged pores, and it's like my skin needs time to turn over and, you know, all that stuff. So I picked my face, and I know I shouldn't do it, and I should just let my skin do its thing and just use some face masks or whatever, but it's just so addicting sometimes. It's ridiculous. So I just wanted to let you know if you pick at your face because you have the same issues, you are not alone. I am going to stay committed to being real with you guys and uh, not just show the best parts of my life. And I think that's what I want to do through these vlogs is show you basically the behind the scenes and the, the real life aspects of people, I guess, you know? Okay, you guys have to check out the video that I just filmed. It is up on my channel. It is this makeup. I reviewed a whole line of collab beauty and you just have to check it out. You have to check it out. <laughs> I love when I film things that I'm really excited about. I just took my hair out of a bun and this is what it looks like. It was like kind of damp 
when I put it up, so now it's insane. Ah! Yo, how are you? I got done with the workout a little while ago, and it was the best one I've had in a very, very long time. I don't know why I didn't film it. I probably should have, but I was just so... I'm my game today, and I am so happy because it hasn't happened in the longest time. So, yay! But now I'm getting to work. I need to get stuff done. I have laundry going right now, which is good because then um, I can cross something off my list. I've been making, as you can tell, I have endorphins from my workout because I'm in a good mood and I'm feeling productive, which is great because yesterday I was not productive. Like I did some things, I filmed, I edited, I did stuff, but like not as much as I wanted to do. So today I'm gonna knock stuff out. And good morning and happy Friday. I'm gonna do some work right now. It Wow, look how bright that is. It is gonna be nice and warm today, like 54 or something, and Caleb comes home today! Caleb has been in Florida for work this week, so I'm really excited that he's gonna be home. So, yeah. at you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Our little family! <laughs> oh my god. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, you are such a sweetheart. Look at you. 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 There's a good girl. Hi, pretty girl. Yeah. Nah. Hi, cute girl. Let me see. Let me see your eyes. Let me see your eyes. Oh, pretty girl. Oh, you got a big stick now. Oh, you like sticks. <laughs> Little Luna. Little Luna. Bless you. Bless you. You just love your sticks, huh? A bath. <laughs> Baby's getting a bath. Aww. It's so cute. It's okay, baby. Okay, so I thought I would explain to you guys the whole story of how we got Luna and everything like that. I don't even know if I said, but yeah, we got Luna. She is a five month old Basenji mix puppy and we got her on Saturday and we are so excited. I'm saying we as in my boyfriend Caleb and I. We started looking for puppies on Saturday and we ended up getting a puppy on Saturday, which is so crazy. I'm, do I'm laying here and filming this because she's actually laying right here. How cute is she? She wanted to lay on me while I'm doing work and then I figured I might as well film and tell you guys how we got her. So basically we went around to a couple shelters and didn't really find anything that we really liked. Um, at the first shelter they were pretty rude and told us basically they wouldn't give us a dog that's a younger dog um, because we're renting even though we have it built into our lease and you know anything like that. So anyway we were kind of annoyed by that. We went to another shelter they were really nice and we were thinking about filling out an application and because they had some dogs that were going to be ready pretty soon. So then on the way there we saw this store called Petland and I was like we might as well go in there. Doubt they're going to have dogs but maybe they'll have a shelter come in because it's like a Saturday. So then we went in there and it was chaos and it turns out that they actually have a non-profit type of shelter that is run through this pet store. So. And they also have like a doggy daycare and like boarding and stuff like that there as well. So we were just kind of looking at the dogs and then we saw there were signs that said 
if you are interested in a dog or even not you could go and just like walk any of the dogs that were um like being shown that day or whatever you know out on the floor basically so we saw this cutie with her brother in a one of the cages and we were like oh my gosh like we should totally take them for a walk like both or one or whatever so they ended up pulling out the female which was her name then was maxine but we didn't really like that name so we renamed her but um took her out took her outside to walk her and she was so curious and so excited and um caleb actually ended up picking her up and she just like melted into his arms basically like she just like was so loving and hugging and obviously because she's just like asleep in my arms right now but she just was the sweetest thing ever and we just kind of knew then that we needed her like she should be ours so yeah that's basically the story how we got her we ended up getting her that day we got all the paperwork figured out and got you know the approval from my landlord and everything and we bought her that day and brought her home and now she's part of our little family and we're so excited and she's so like i said before she's so loving like look how she's just the best she actually has a half blue and half brown eye that's why we named her luna because the blue part kind of looks like a moon so i will put a photo on the screen right now so that you guys can see her little eye um so yeah that's why we named her luna and we think it's really fitting and her eye is like so cute i love it so that is luna and that will be it for the vlog this week i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the video very very soon bye <laughs>